What's up guys? Welcome back. I think this will be very interesting for you camera guys out there. So uh, here we go. Intro time! The GoPro isn't known for being the best camera, but it is a good action camera. It's lightweight, it's portable, and it still shoots 4K. The problem is, the audio sucks, and there's no way of attaching extra things to this. So, I've come up with a way, not really, I found a whole bunch of people on YouTube that are doing this sort of thing, but I found a way to make it a better rig for vlogging. And so that's what we're going to do because Audrey needs something portable, something lightweight, and something she can use. So here we go. First up, we're going to take the Hero 5 Black camera, and we're going to take this and make it a monster. To do that, I've got a whole bunch of cool stuff, and I will show you all of that as we go along. Step number one, follow along with me here. This is important. It's big stuff. We have to take this little side panel off. So that just a little button and it pops down and I'm inept. There we go. Pops down, pops open. And we're just going to pull this gently down at an angle off of the, off of the camera. Maybe. There we go. Bam. Doors off. Now we have access to these two little ports here on the side. Next thing, I bought this little cage. It has a built-in 52 millimeter UV filter, which also would allow us to attach um, ND filters or, well, any kind of filters if we wanted to at a 52 millimeter ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our GoPro and we're going to put it into the cage. Just as simple as that. And this little screw tightens down. This little cage was about $18. We have the solution to all the audio problems and that's the GoPro mic adapter. Because as we all know, GoPro has the literal worst audio. So let's get this bad boy open. Uh, and that's that. That is a huge dongle though, right? Like that is a lot of thing attached to your GoPro. So the way we do is we just plug that in here to the USB-C port, which is uh, this one in the back. Click. And now we're going to have acceptable audio. I hope. We need to solve another problem. The selfie screen. How do we do that? Well, this thing will allow you to use your cell phone as a selfie screen. One of these little cell phone clampy things, right? Well, how do we attach that to our GoPro? The GoPro cage I bought comes with one of these little hot shoe adapters. So all we're gonna do is take this hot shoe adapter and we're going to mount it right here on the side. And it just threads in, bam. Thread it in. Also has an Allen wrench thing, so give me just a moment and I'll go find an Allen key. Whew. Okay, I'm back. Found an Allen wrench. Uh, okay, that's tightened. All right, now we've got a hot shoe mount. Well, it's actually a cold shoe because there's nothing active on that. We're gonna take one of these little cheap, crappy ball heads and just attach that there as well. Now, we have a ball head attached to the side and we can use that to mount our phone clamp. Ta-da! Now we can take our phone and clamp it in there. Now you have a GoPro with a cell phone attached to the side of it. I know, it's ridiculous. But hey, whatever it takes to make my wife, whatever it takes to make it easier on my wife to vlog. I'm gonna do it. My real concern is so wide it can see the phone. That's gotta go wider. And then we can put the selfie screen up here above it, which will give us a bit better balance like that. And now the GoPro no longer sees the phone. All right, so we have yet another, got this Joby Gorillapod arm right here. And we just wanna attach that to the bottom. Because what good is it to vlog if you don't have a Joby Gorilla Pod, right? Right there. 
GoPro vlogging stick, right? Let's get our mic adapter back on here. And then in order to solve the actual problem with audio, because a mic adapter doesn't do you any good if you don't actually have a mic, I bought her one of these video micros by Rode. It's small and supposedly has really good quality. It comes with the microphone and its own little wind suppressor. All right, so we got the shock mount, we have the microphone, wind suppressor, and the cable. I also, when I ordered this stuff, ordered some extra cold shoe adapters, which is how we're going to attach the mic. Another cold shoe adapter. We're just gonna put that right up here on the top. This one came with its own Allen wrench. If I could just get my hands to cooperate with me though, we can get this bolted down and get it straightened up. All right, there we go. Ta-da. Shock mount. Ta-da. Attach our microphone. Bam. Plug in the cable to the adapter. And we'll even put the windscreen on. Let's go ahead and just put that on there. Let's go ahead and line the phone back up too. Why not? We're here. Let's just let's get this whole rig together. And it even comes with a lens cap. Go figure. The only thing I'm not fond of is this big adapter just kind of hanging out. And I've, and I've seen some ways to handle that and may very well do so in the near future. But for now, actually it might be something I could just Velcro to the front in time. In time we'll figure that out. If I'm a GoPro app, now we'll get the app running. For those of you who are curious, I'm an Android guy. I don't use iPhone stuff hardly ever. Maybe it's going to work this time. Possibly. All right, here we go. All right. Let's go up here and see if my camera's already in this bad boy. Capture app. There we go. So many problems. When you're on camera and you want things to go smooth, there's always so many problems. There we go. Now we're hooked up. Selfie screen. So that's what, that's what a GoPro vlogging rig looks like. A phone for a selfie screen, a small mic that stays out of the way for external audio and hopefully better audio than anything the GoPro could provide. This cage with a ball, a ball head and then a small stand. I mean, this whole thing, the microphone was the most expensive thing on here. It was about 50 bucks. The cage was $20. The adapter was 50 bucks. It was like $125. The, the camera itself, I mean, I already had that. But instead of paying $1,000, $2,000 for another GH5 or something like that, Audrey can just use this. And it'll be easier for her to use because there's not a whole bunch of camera settings that she doesn't know a lot about. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to the GoPro and do some more vlogging. And you guys can kind of see what it's like, hear the audio on it, and we can tell if it's, you know, worth using or not. So here we go. Here we go. We're on the GoPro now. This is a little weird. Gotta turn off this light. The boyo is awake. And I need to go get him a diaper change. And then we are going to go pick up Audrey from work because we are down to one car. There's Mr. Odin. You ready to go pick up Mama? No. No? You guys probably won't want to see this, but I'm about to change the diaper. Be right back. What's that? This is your new vlog rig. Oh yeah? So there's a few caveats with this. Okay. Um, the cell phone connectivity is kind of wonky at times. Okay. And the microphone, you can see it in the shot if it if it wobbles down. I like it, it's very small. Uh, I also don't know what the audio is gonna sound like. What up, y'all? But there you go. I love it. So much more compact. Okay, situation is oh. I've already vlogged a crap ton, and you can put all this on your Monday vlog if you want and then continue your vlog with that thing. But the kicker with that is it's Thursday and we've got a stream tonight and the shop is a disaster. We're going to get a car today? I don't know about this, we, I'm gonna go get you a car, you have to You have to clean the shop. So I have to clean up the shop? Yes. Well, this is bullshit. All right. Plus, All right. I'm, this, I'm, I'm just ready to have a car that I don't have to pray it makes it to where I'm going and Me back. too, I'm ready for you to have a car that I, I don't have to pray that so, does that mean we're going to drive the new car to Texas this weekend? Yes. Sorry. I'm just really excited. So, when we get back to the house, I need to get all of my crap out of my car, don't I? Get all the stuff out of your car, no. find your title. I'm going to try and get air in your tire. Okay. We're back at the house, so I will do that. Go team, go break. Yeah. Hey, guys. So, it's been a crazy, crazy couple of days, but... 
since Monday is my vlog day, I kind of have to let you guys know what's going on this week. So this week, John and I went to Dallas this weekend for a little Valentine's getaway. It's been over a year since we've actually been on a little mini vacation without our kiddo with us. So it's been an incredible weekend just because we got to sleep in a little bit. We got to go out and have fun. It's been really great. So this week, what we're going to do is we're going to have either a two-part or a three-part vlog series on just our weekend this weekend because we did a whole bunch of stuff. Here we go. Thread in there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, just like you, just like you're supposed to.